To start our exercise, we create a new project and a project new project. We adjust the resolution and scale for our project example and enter a name. Apply the settings. Okay. We switch to the register card rectification and load an image for rectangle rectification. In the folder image rectification we select the folder facade rectangle, the picture with the me measurements. Choose the type rectification rectangle. Click on the rectangle tool and measure the drawn rectangle in our picture. During the picture taking you take measurements on the object and you now enter for our rectangle information, width and height. With evaluation area we limit the area of our rectification. Right mouse click to close the area. Above in the chart you see the approximate resolution scale of our original image and with user defined we are able to adjust the settings of our rectified image as we like. We start the rectification. The program saves the rectified image in a new TIFF file. With show result, we are given the rectified image, in which we now can use measure control lines to search with independent measurements for checking purposes. Next, transfer to map. Select layout paper area and choose a larger paper size for a mapping project, landscape format. Okay and overlay our frame, display frame. And accept the settings. In the project tree, under the register card mapping, we load now mapping classes and groups out of a former project. Therefore, we open the class management and with mapping template, we load the mapping class of one of our exercise examples. Under mapping training, in the folder project wall. Here we can choose out of a selection of an older project, the mapping classes and groups for a new project. You can deactivate classes we don't need, you can also deactivate all, and now select individual groups over the group selection. Meaning only classes within the activated groups will be imported in our project. We import our selection. And now I have listed the applied classes. Apply. We can now see in the mapping tree the different groups. And the assigned classes. Over the group selection 
can select a specific group and all remaining groups are closed and you are only shown the classes of your current group. We return to group all. We wish to assign a single class or in this case our image layers to all groups. We select the class and with right mouse click to the context menu you open insert to groups. Here we can see in which groups our class is already used and add our image layer to our remaining groups. Apply. If we switch now between the groups, our image is always included. You can also select an individual class with pressed left mouse click and relocate it to another group. Or open with right mouse click the context menu, insert to groups and control the attribution to different groups or remove classes from groups. If we want to set up new groups, we open the group management over mapping group management. In the pull down menu, we see our already available groups. And on the left, you got listed our remaining classes which are not used in the currently selected group. And on the right, the class is assigned to the group. If you want to add another class later on, you take the desired class and click on the arrow button to assign them to the group. To reverse it, tick set classes again and activate the other arrow button to remove the classes from the group. Furthermore, you have the register cards image layers. In case you work with several image layers like historical shots of your object, or images before and after restoration, you can assign different images to different groups. Under auxiliary layers, you'll find later on legends or annotations you can assign to individual groups. We want to create a new group and name it. As you see, we have yet to assign classes to our group or it remains blank. So we select on the left classes we intend to integrate in our new group. And move them with the arrow button to our group list. We apply our settings. and can see our group in the mapping tree. We switch to the group condition stone. For each group we can create a group legend. Therefore we select the group name, right mouse click, on create group bound legend and you see all classes of the group listed in the preview. Alright. In the left bottom corner of our paper area the automatically created legend appears with all classes assigned to our group. If you remove our Add classes later on, the legend will update itself immediately. The legend is now listed in the mapping tree under its group. We select the legend and see in the tool window three register cards. 
Layout, Line Format and Data. We start with Layout. You can adjust the size, frame and position of your legend on the paper area. The frame corner. Or you decide to define an insertion point. Therefore you can enter the coordinates in centimeter regarding the left button corner on our paper area. We enter 2 cm and can see the legend relocate in 2 cm distance to the paper edge. We reactivate the frame corner. If the legend is linked to a frame corner, its position will update if you change the paper or the frame size later on. Take a look on the second register card, line format. You can generate the size, gaps and length of lines in the legend. You can adjust font size or color. Or you can add more columns. You move the mouse cursor on the chart, right mouse click. Add column entry. We choose the function number. It shows the quantity of areas of each class in our group. Select the class and draw some mapping areas on the facade. Choose another mapping class and draw some new areas. Of course we could use different drawing tools, but for our example one tool is sufficient. We turn to the legend and see the legend has updated itself. You can read the quantity of the respective class. We add another column entry. Total masses. We are now shown the sum of our mapping areas in square meters. We activate another column entry. Percentage mass selection. In this case, the sum of all mapping areas on our paper area is 100%, meaning the expense of all classes is added up. And in this column you are given the percentage of area for each class. We return to the chart and add yet another column and select percentage mass object. With this function you can calculate the percentage of each class comparing to the total area of our object. Therefore we have yet to define the total area. We open the class management and create a new class. Choose the type Area Mapping. And apply. We switch to Group All. And select Total Area. With the function Show Only Current Layer, we can hide all other mapping classes and concentrate on the calculation of our facade's total area. By using the polygon tool, we round our object's contours and mapping area.
and we have the total area with 149.30. the next step we cut out the windows the explanation of this drawing tools will follow in another tutorial named tools for area mapping This way you can erase certain sub-areas out of the quantity survey and get a more accurate result. The facade's total area amounts to 116 square meter. We deactivate the display of this class. And go under mapping, mapping area object. And select our class total area. You are shown the area. Okay. Now we return to our group condition stone. And see now in the legend the percentage of each group compared to the total area of our object. We switch to the third register card data. You can see the listing of all mapping classes of this group. You can arrange the order of the classes and with right mouse click we can add column breaks. You see the separate two columns. You can click with right mouse click on the first line and add a header. Also for the second column. And you have the annotation of all columns. If we return now to the group management, and look on the register card image layers, and auxiliary layers, we have now the legend listed. Apply. And here ends our exercise.